All right, what's going on guys? So real quickly, I wanted to make a video. I'm not really gonna script it or structure it too well, probably, but I just wanted to go ahead and talk about uniform soldier aiming and the coefficient that I'm trying out. Uh, this is mainly gonna be for people that want to use a 0% coefficient, or I, I guess really we're gonna try and explain kind of somewhat what's going on with this coefficient, but I kind of just figured it out, like it clicked for me this morning, what's happening at least on a 0% coefficient which I've just recently come to find out that this is probably the best one you're going to want to be using as far as like your long-term aiming goals. If you are really trying to become a good aimer um, and you really want to, you know, get a really good handle on your aim. I've, I've found out that this is 0% for the uniform soldier aiming coefficient or monitor distance coefficient is what it's called in Call of Duty. Um, this, this value is what you want. And, by default, if you turn Uniform Soldier Aiming on, it's going to be at 133. That was a number that was decided a long time ago whenever they were making a, or putting it in Battlefield, whenever they added it. And they based this number pretty much off of a CSGO number. That I mean, this value pretty much worked in that game. This is what I understand happened. Um, and it, this works up to like 75% of the screen. And... Yeah, it's it's fine. This is what I played on for a while. This is the default one. So this is what I'm used to. So actually zero feels super foreign right now. Uh, the other value that you're going to see people recommend is going to be 178, which makes it match out to the very, very edges. Um, but this one, I was watching a, a Silk video and he laid out quite a few good points that he found from other places on the internet and all his resources in the video are linked. Um, and I'll, I'll link his video and some of those sources uh, down below if you guys want to watch it. But uh, this is the one that's that's recommended. And I switched to this yesterday and played with it on stream. And it was kind of odd. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not used to it. I also changed DPI and sends and all kinds of things that I probably shouldn't have done all that at once. Um, we're going to keep experimenting with it this week to see how it goes. But I just wanted to... This video, the point of it, I guess, let me finally get into it, is just to kind of show what's happening with the 0% coefficient, and it's, it's what throws me off. Um, so when I play with a 3x, uh, historically, using that 133% coefficient and a faster sends, I usually pr play pretty well with these things. Um, the 0% coefficient throws me off because, obviously, like... So here's what I'm, I'm trying to aim at right now, just, just doing this. is like, you see this line, these like rivets, and then like the same right here, there's like these rivets. That's pretty much what I'm, I'm going between here. And if you, if you do it back here, it's, this feels fairly fast. And then you zoom in, and it feels quite a bit slower. That's what's been throwing me off. But it's because I'm not factoring in kind of the epiphany I had today while actually reading a Drimsy comment on the mouse sensitivity forums. Um, so what's happening is like, you're standing back here, right? And this is all gonna be like rough approximations. I haven't like measured the distance in game or anything, but I, I did measure it as you can see with a um, tape measure here to get at least somewhat accurate. And so if you're, it's kind of hard to see, but if you're aiming at those rivets, it's like they're right here. And then they're, you know, to flick that distance or to travel that distance, it's not very much back here because your, your FOV is pulled way back and you've got a higher FOV and you can see more and just the distance you have to go is not that far. When you zoom in, you, it, it feels slower because you've got to go a further distance because you're zoomed in. I'm sure a lot of people know that. Um, the reason the 0% coefficient feels weird to me, though, this is the epiphany I had, is because I'm not factoring in having to scale my input with scaling the FOV. And so what that essentially means is, if you're standing back here, this is the hip fire like distance, right? It's just, it's not a lot. You can see it. I'm not moving my mouse very much to go back and forth between those two lines. But when you zoom in, you've got to go further, right? Okay. Well, when you zoom in, think of it this way. Instead of like right here, you're in hip fire, you're standing right here. But think of it, think when you zoom in, think of it as the same as literally teleporting your body up here. And now see, see how much I have to move the mouse to go between the, the two lines? 
it's the same distance as what it was is back there. And if you did, you know, that's even larger because I'm way closer. But that's essentially what's happening is you're teleporting. Like, think of it like teleporting. You are blinking your body forward whenever you zoom in with a 3x. So you're pretty much traveling, you know, you're just zapping to right there, like immediately, whenever you zoom in with the 3x. And then when you unzoom, you're back out here. So you have to scale how much movement you're using appropriately. And you you may be thinking like, okay, so why is why is this a good idea? Well, it's because you're literally like, once you get that scaling down, it's gonna become pretty automatic. Like I said, I'm not good with it because I just started using 0% coefficient. But once you get that down and you understand like pretty much you're just teleporting, like it, I, I think that's gonna change the way you the way you look at it. At least I think I think it will for me. So I don't know. Hopefully that is it's kind of a weird video and I, I know I didn't like script it or even say it very well, but that's kind of what's happening with zero percent coefficient is you're just like it's like giving yourself teleporting abilities when you zoom in. You can just, I mean, it's almost like you're doing everything at like a super close range. I really don't know how to explain it, but like that's that's what it is. I mean, it's like you're blinking yourself up to in front of that table, and that's the amount of distance you're having to travel. But you're back here with a three X, more in safety, you know, in the game, blah blah blah. But that's that's what's happening. That's why they they feel different, and this is going to be better. For your aim in the long run because it's going to allow you to have more of a like more control over your mouse you're not using crutches essentially that like try to match and and drimsy puts this really well in in his comment but you're you're not using like high fov low sends to pretty much hide your inadequacies with your mechanical movement on your mouse itself you know and you're not doing you know you're not learning just one particular aim style you're learning how much distance scaling you need to do on each FOB. And it's actually, it's not as daunting as it sounds. Uh, he, he said that a lot of it is going to end up feeling pretty automatic. You're going to get used to it. I mean, obviously right now it's, it's fairly rough for me, but I'm going to practice for a little while on this. And I think it's going to get, it's going to get better because you're going to, you're pretty much going to have almost like the same velocity going on. It's just like, you're going to be traveling different distances. Or maybe maybe different speeds. I don't, I don't. I'm not a physics person, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like the the movement is going to be the same. You're just going to have to scale. Like you're just going to have to account for the fact that okay, now I'm closer to the target, so it's almost like I'm doing a close strafe here. Okay, I unzoom. There's a guy right on me, or you know whatever. It's the same thing. You know, if if there was a guy like right here, I'm having to like you know track him up close if he's running circles around me real close. It's kind of hard to visualize, but. And then if you know you're over here, it's the same thing, because it's like you teleported up in front of the table. So it's like you're doing a close strafe on those two lines, because you're standing in front of the table right now, essentially, like that. You're if you're looking at the very, very middle of your screen, right there, pinpointed on the crosshair. You know, if I was standing in front of the table, I'm essentially doing a close strafe on those two lines. You know, it's it's the same feel. So, anyways, I'm I'm just rambling, but that that is. Kind of the epiphany I've had with 0% coefficient today. I don't know if this is going to be a good video or not, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it up. Just kind of a rough, you know, thoughts of what I've been looking at and what I've been studying the last couple days here. So, I don't know. Maybe it was helpful. Maybe it wasn't. Um, if it was, be sure to leave a like and, you know, consider subscribing. Uh, I put up a lot of, like, clip stuff right now, but there's going to be a lot of new videos and uh new stuff and you know thoughts on battlefield 2042 and all that coming so i'm still working on buffing the youtube channel out and i i stream every day on twitch over uh doing battlefield stuff you know battlefield 5 all that so feel free to come by and check out the twitch streams as well but anyways uh yeah